It's a pretty common situation where you have a screenplay PDF like this that you want to edit in Final Draft, but you can't because Final Draft doesn't know what to do with it. So in two previous screencasts, I showed you how you could take uh, copy and paste to sort of copy all the text out of a file and paste it into Final Draft. It worked, but it took a lot of reformatting. I also showed you how you can use Highland to uh, melt down the PDF, which works much faster. The people at Final Draft emailed me about a third way, sort of their recommended way to get scripts into Final Draft. So I wanted to talk through that method. So this is on their website. This is on the Final Draft website. Article number 519, can Final Draft import a PDF file? Uh, the answer here is no, but they have a workflow for a one way to do it. And so I wanted to try out their way and see in which ways it's better and which ways it's worse. So this is their workflow. The screenshot they show here is for PC, but this also works on a Mac. So this is going to use a different application rather than preview to get the text out of the PDF. So you have to install Adobe Reader. And here's the Adobe site. So you would go to getadobe.com uh, slash reader, uh, and you can install it. Now it's a free download. It is a complicated installer and sort of like all Adobe things, I'm a little bit fearful every time I do it, but I just did it and it worked fine. Uh, so it asks you for permissions and you install it and everything works fine. Ultimately, you end up with an app that looks like this, Adobe Reader. And you can take your PDF and drop it on Adobe Reader. This is what you get. This is the PDF version. So in the version we did before with preview, I was doing select all and then pasting it into Final Draft. The workflow that Final Draft recommends is you go to File, Save as Other, Text. And the little Save dialog box, you're going to type your name for it. And the file you get out of there is this one. So I call this Lovecraft Export. Now this is what you're actually going to drop onto Final Draft, because Final Draft knows what a text file is, so we'll bring this in. Final Draft asks you, do you import text and convert to script or text document? You want this as a script. So let's say script. It's working. And here is the script that it generates. So it's a new file, new document, but it's taking that text and creating a new script. So the title page is messed up, but that's given. That's fine. Put a blank page here. Some continues that aren't right. But compared to what we did before with copying and pasting, things seem a little bit better, at least at the start. So we've got some action, we've got a scene header. Um, the problem is like this action line is actually broken into two different parts. So we're gonna have to go through and fix that. Um, and there's weird missing spaces uh, throughout this. So line, it feels like line breaks aren't happening right or like uh, ends of lines get messed up with spaces in between them. Dialogue is better, except that we ran into the same problem where this last hour is over in the edge. So you're going to still bring up your friend, the reformat dialog box, and you're going to have to say that's actually dialogue. Um, close that out. But that dialogue's on the next line, so we're going to delete across. So it's still a lot of work. It's not a great solution. Um, but if you're on a PC and you couldn't access Highland, this is probably a little bit better than just a pure copy and paste. So if you're stuck in that situation, you couldn't use Highland, this would feel like the next best choice would be to do this uh, workflow with Adobe Reader and uh, saving it as a text file. It's still going to be quite a bit of work, and you're going to probably find some mistakes down the road. Um, I did notice as I was scrolling through here before, page numbers are still showing up in places that they shouldn't. Here's like a blank page. Um, this script, which is 114 pages, came through as 343 pages. So clearly not a smooth workflow, but uh, perhaps better than just a pure copy and paste. So that's yet another way to get from a PDF into Final Draft.